Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Honored to be connecting with you today. It is a Wednesday, Tuesday, <laughs> almost Wednesday. This is a Tuesday. It's noontime here in Honolulu, and it is the 19th day of June, or is it July? In any case, we are here and we are now. And I'm very grateful to be connecting with you. There are some depths of wisdom to be delved into today with the nature of ego and sometimes the hidden nature of ego and uh, yesterday uh, last night actually when I was checking in uh, with heaven as to what should I speak about today this is what came up and so I will do some flows on this as well today because um, it's certainly not a subject matter that I'm overly knowledgeable in <clears throat> but this is what heaven wanted to talk about so I'm sure there's some lessons in it for me and hopefully some in it for you as well and uh, hopefully we'll all get some value out of it so thank you for joining with me today those of you that uh, are interested but might not be able to stay then please like and subscribe and you'll be able to come back to this page and watch it anytime and also you'll be notified uh, when I do go live which right now is every Tuesday and Thursday Tuesdays at this time noon my time and Thursdays it's three hours earlier so uh, for some of you Thursdays work better for some of you Tuesdays work better and then also I have uh, I have some ongoing courses for those that prefer a little more one-on-one -on -one. it's um, a dedicated webinar and I have uh, many students that join these one of them is my 52 week ongoing program and when and in that program I work step by step through many of Master Shaw's books dissecting the wisdom and applying it with practices <clears throat> and you're welcome to join that as well and you can learn more at going by going to asoulhealer.com and I see Kristen has joined us she's always been there to support and so she usually puts the links in her chat so thank you Kristen for that service uh, and then the other course I'm doing um, which is only open until what's the day you have about three or four more days that's it uh, it's the open spiritual channels course it's a 12-week course for opening your spiritual channels and um, I have room for two more students uh, already we have just completed week three I close it before week four because uh, there is opportunity to catch up by watching the recordings everything is recorded so um, if you wanted to get the 50% um, discount on that and apply before the next three days then be sure and follow the links also at my website asohaler.com and uh, I believe Kristen was probably on top of it putting that post in her chat as well so welcome to everybody let's see who's joined us today <clears throat> welcome Janice welcome Sherry Hines Aloha thank you Kristen for being my support welcome Jen Aloha Kathy Arnold and Jamie Vargas welcome also to uh, Carrie Decker uh, Master Elizabeth Aloha welcome also to Delma Montez <clears throat> and Robert Robert Dosa Aloha uh, Jeannie Van Hove welcome also to Johanna Steer and welcome to Susan Otenson more people will join shortly as we go it's been a very 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 busy week a lot of preparation actually towards a special event with Master Shah there is this weekend an enlightenment retreat which I do recommend everybody join you can learn more by going to drsha.com directly um, and it's an enlightenment retreat being held by several of Master Shah's highest level teachers uh, and you can learn quite a bit more about the nature of enlightenment how to become enlightened and you will have the opportunity to reach soul enlightenment in that retreat for those that attend and if you are approved um, during that retreat you'll have that opportunity so you can learn more by joining it um, and then also uh, Master Shah has some special retreats coming up <clears throat> um, that are pretty much I don't know if they're accessible anymore I think the calligraphy retreat is still accessible to the general public uh, and that is July 23 I believe through the 29th uh, if you can attend a calligraphy retreat with Master Shah it's extraordinary it's, by itself it's worth the price of admission because he offers so many extraordinary blessings uh, as a as a part of being in the retreat uh, and of course you can honor for more if you want individual blessings but it's just truly an amazing opportunity and highly likely it will be the last opportunity uh, because he has not indicated any events whatsoever 
in the next year. And um, if there is any, it will probably just be one. And if there is just one, it will only be to the advanced students. Um, so this might be the last time to actually see him, um, at least via webcast. I think uh, in person might be more difficult. There, I, I don't know if there's any spaces left, but I encourage you to learn more about that. So welcome also Rose Marie. <coughs> Thank you, Kristen, for posting those links and welcome also to Sean Anderson. So while Facebook is gathering a few more souls, let us go ahead and connect heart to heart and soul to soul. I'm going to place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is a hand mudra position. And we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remain pointed towards heaven. Let's close our eyes and I will invite in the beings of light. <coughs> Dear our beloved divine creator, I love you. I honor you. I respect you. And I bow my head to you. We all deeply appreciate you very much. We can never understand truly the great honor it is to ask for your presence. We ask most humbly and most sincerely for all the beings of light, including the masters and ascended masters, Lama, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, to please come at this time. We ask most humbly and sincerely for your guidance, your wisdom, and your blessings for today's class on the soul, the nature of the ego, and more. We ask that if I do any flows, that you please offer that guidance through my mouth and allow this wisdom to serve many. We ask also for guidance in the wisdom and the practices so that in this teachings today, all that who receive it are able to get the most out of it. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear the source, uh, dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, and our own soul. We love you, honor you, respect you. We invite you to please come at this time and be present. Offer your service as appropriate to assist us to release blockages associated with ego. Help us to develop humility. Bless us to leave behind all that is false. Align our heart and soul to all that is true. Thank you. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> I love you. I honor you. Deeply appreciate you. We ask most humbly, most sincerely for your presence. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant love, peace, and harmony with us at this time to offer their unconditional service to humanity. So for those that are new, this is a mantra. It is a healing instrument. It can be, uh, you can find more about it and download it. There is an app, Love, Peace, and Harmony. They can also go to lovepeaceharmony.org and download the song from there. Uh, learn more. Listen, play it often, you will discover that it is a healing instrument. <clears throat> so let us chant. For those that do not know the song, really receive the blessing. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula, li, lula, wo ai wo xian er ling, wo ai tran man lei, wang ming rong er mu shi shang, shang ai ping on er xie. Xiong ai ping on her sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, how, how. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bow our head nine times very gently to our beloved Creator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so today, the nature or the hidden nature of the ego. So last night, uh, about 11 p.m. my time, I was like, oh, I have to post for today's live stream. Dear heaven, what do I speak about? 
and what do I share? And so I just I just wait. And I wait for information to come into my spiritual channels. And um, I just started typing the hidden nature of the ego. So, oh, okay, great. I guess we will both learn today. And so then I shared it. Now, what does that mean? That means that I don't always have uh, the, the direct knowing on this information. I am trusting that heaven will provide valuable information. I know my own experiences on ego. I know that <laughs> there is a lot of growth to go. Um, and I know that each of us have our own uh, understandings of it. So I'm going to share with you my conceptual understandings. And I'm going to share with you Master Shah's understandings, which have to do with the subject of humility. Because humility is obviously the opposite of ego. Now, <clears throat> humility, uh, for lack of a defined explanation, is the ultimate selflessness. No selfishness at all. Humility is not being interested in self, even a little bit. Not being interested in how somebody looks, not being interested in how other people perceive them. They just don't have any perception of self or what other people think of self. They are there purposely to be of service to others. They take zero credit. Somebody who is completely selfless takes zero credit for anything. Somebody could literally be a miracle creator and take zero credit for it. Give it all to the divine. Um, they could save somebody's life and walk away and not be interested in any visibility on that. So this is the ultimate. This is uh, the ultimate opposite of ego, the ultimate in ultimate humility. Certainly something that uh, the great masters of all time show. They show it in the form of their wisdom. So, you know, it's easy to look at uh, Jesus or Muhammad or Buddha or Krishna, some of the other great beings who have lived in all time and who have <clears throat> given us uh, representative examples of selflessness and great humility, offering all credit to the Creator. Now, on the opposite side of that, we have us, human beings, seven billion of us, all with very unique perspectives, very unique ideologies, very unique um, ways of looking at things, perspectives, um, opinions, and some of us are quite strong in those opinions. There is layers and layers and layers of ego that can in many cases actually be beneficial, but in some cases can be quite detrimental. So let's talk about those. Let me also welcome uh, Aloha to Sean Anderson. Welcome Sharon Dodd. Welcome Ali Fess. Welcome Candy Cornett. Aloha and welcome to Tracy Lee Pai. Welcome Tasha James. Aloha and welcome Rose. Welcome uh, Jane Summer Sparkles. <coughs> she asked a question about why are these terrible things happening in the world? Can we send healing energy? Yes, we can. That's what the song of love, peace, and harmony is for. We must remember that if we believe in karma, everything in the world has a reason for occurring. Everything in our personal space of suffering has a reason for occurring. And the best and fastest way to deal with that is through love and forgiveness. If, however, we expand our energy to try to solve those karmic aspects on the world, it's just way too big for us to be sticking our neck out there like that and get hurt. So instead, use the power of something like Love, Peace, and Harmony Soul Song, which carries extraordinary healing power. Gather yourself, two or three people, and chant to serve humanity. That will make a far, far, far greater difference. You can learn more by following the links that Kristen Rojas has posted. So welcome, Dr. Rapal. Welcome also to Andy, Angie Chandler. And welcome, Heather McNee. <clears throat> welcome also to uh, anyone else whose names I may have missed. And please forgive me if I missed your name. Ego. This subject is on the hidden nature of the ego. But in order to find the hidden nature, we have to define ego first. We've defined the opposite of ego, which is the highest in humility. Ego is personality. Ego is how we bring ourselves to the table. When you were born, you were not born with an ego. Think about it. Do you, do you think about any infant child, one, two, three days old, a month old. Is there any ego occurring with the child? 
No. Ego is learned. Ego is something that is formulated over the course of time. And the, those who enter our life uh, assist us in that formulation process. If we have a very humble mother and father, a very pure-hearted, uh, selfless mother and father who does not take credit, then what do we as the children mimic? If, on the other hand, we have an alcoholic father and an abusive mother, then what do we uh, learn from and what do we try not to be like? How does that impact our personality? I'm sorry, I keep scratching my nose. There's so many beings of light that are present. Uh, they're making my nose itch. I apologize. So when uh, those that surround us from birth, they absolutely impact our ego, our personality. What else impacts our ego and our personality? Karma. Prior to our entrance into this physical experience, <clears throat> our karma dictated who our parents were, who our peers are going to be, our family, friends, brothers, sisters, our belief systems. Our karma brought uh, those into us from the beginning and then brought individuals into our life through the course of our life up to today. Each of those individuals, every single experience you you have ever had from the moment of birth has colluded, has come together in a great uh, mesh of fabric to create a, a blanket, if you will, a quilt work of who you are. Your personality is a quilt work of all of your karma and all of the beliefs that you have chosen to accept and acknowledge, all of the mindsets, all of the attitudes, all of the um, responses, all of the protection mechanisms Everything that you've ever learned by responding to your brother's meanness, by responding to your father's love, by responding to, to uh, uh, an addictive situation, by responding to mean teachers or good teachers, by responding to uh, belief systems that are taught you. All of these, through life, through our karmas, we formulate our personality. And here you are today. Welcome. But in this personality, <clears throat> how far have we separated from source? What is ego? Ego and the amount of ego is equal to the separation from source, equal to separation from creator. Humility and the amount of humility is equal to connection to creator. The more humble we are, the more pure our heart and soul is service the closer we are to our Creator. Why? Very simple, very obvious. Why then is it so difficult to let go of our personality, our, our traits, our, our, our negativities, our um, judgments, our criticisms, our uh, selfishness? Why, why, why is it so difficult to let go of these things? Let's do a flow right now. Let's ask heaven for some insights and some information on this. <clears throat> Let's find out what their perspective is on ego, especially the hidden nature of ego, and we will ask Kevin for some guidance and some potential solutions as well. Okay, so for those of you that are not familiar, haven't seen this, flow is um, a form of connecting to the soul world and asking them to uh, borrow my mouth so to speak my voice doesn't change you get weird but i receive information i speak that information out okay so i will ask <clears throat> dear heaven dear god dear source dear the Tao, dear our original creator i love you on you i bow my head to you with the deepest humility and gratitude i ask most humbly most sincerely for any wisdom that can be shared today by you or any of your emissaries of light that wish to speak through me. Could you please offer a teaching to myself and to all of those watching today on the nature of ego, the hidden nature of ego, the methods by which we can become aware of ego, and the methods by which we can dissolve these kinds of blockages so that we may return to your heart and to your soul as quickly as possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
How? This is the soul of the one you know as Jesus. This one, Master Paul, was quite apprehensive to speak my name to tell you that it was me who has come to talk. That is a form of hidden ego. For if his heart was pure, he would not care what you or anyone thinks. The ego can be quite sensitive, especially to others' perspectives and opinions. The ego is a word that has been misunderstood for eons. It has been said that in this dimension, life, this world that you live in, that those who are selfish cannot move forward, that those who are selfless can become enlightened. Ego is separation from source, separation from alignment to the oneness from which you have been born from. It is understandably difficult when one enters this life and is not allowed to remember all that they have ever attained in all lifetimes. It is understandable that it can be difficult to release old patterns, patterns of lack of self-love. When one has parents, for example, that are not very loving, that are belligerent, rude, condescending, or when one goes through relationship breakups and their heart closes, it is understandable that the personality must develop protection mechanisms. These protectionistic ways of defending self then create forms of communication that are non-loving. They also close the receiver's heart and disallow the divine creator to enter and to become one, to meld with you. It is an interesting conundrum for the protection mechanisms that occur for most from birth separate you from source. And yet they are, on some levels, necessary to survive the onslaught of unpleasantness that you, at the level of soul, knows should not be occurring in the world of the divine. Most souls pure when they enter and then come into a field of toxicity, a field of diversity, a field of negativity and unpleasant energies. This is quite traumatic to any soul. So the protective mechanisms <clears throat> that are naturally developed through the course of one's lifetime is understandable. However, from the mercy, from the love of your beloved divine creator, you are given hundreds, thousands, 
millions of opportunities to unwind these mechanisms, to open your hearts. These come in the form of smiles, the sunshine on your body, the instant healings when you least expect it, the beautiful song that makes you sing and dance when no one is watching, and hundreds, thousands, and millions of more other ways to release the personality you have developed over time. The ease of which to release ego is dependent upon the awakening and desire of the individual to let go of all that they have adopted to protect themselves. It requires a willingness to open their heart, not take anything personally. It requires unconditional love and service to and for others. Those that do this have the highest possibility of alignment with source. There are other aspects of ego that are hidden. There is those that say, oh no, that's okay, I don't need it, or they deny help. <clears throat> Those are also aspects of ego. Why? Because they are saying, I can do it. I am strong. This is not a heart of humility. It is one of insecurity. So as you can see, in many of the hidden aspects of ego, there can be expressions of it that are not so easy to define. I will leave you with some wisdom that was shared in what you call the Bible. Do unto others as you would have done unto self. And if you are to love yourself, then love others. Loving thyself is the fastest path to humility and to being free of ego. For when one loves themselves, they release protection blockages. They release negativity. They release those patterns of belief that truly are not rooted in anything other than protection. I trust this wisdom will serve each and every one of you in time. It has been my honor to deliver this message at this time. This is the beloved soul known as Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, blood Jesus. Oh. Okay, sorry about the sound outside if you heard that. <clears throat> so welcome everybody, thank you for joining. Uh, hopefully that message that came through was um, of value to you. It did not feel as pure as it needed to be. Um, I was doing my best to stay in the flow and allow this beautiful soul to speak through me. Uh, I apologize if my ego got in the way, if anything came through that was not as accurate as, as it could be. So welcome also Roshan, welcome Erica, uh, welcome Ani Benson Campbell, welcome Luna, welcome also Attorney Jeffrey and Jane Summer, welcome uh, Marina. Thank you all. So um, great wisdom. <coughs> that came through at that time. 
one of the things personally that I have learned about um, ego is that it's always <laughs> this is speaking for me personally it it um, whenever one is defensive and I have certainly a lot of that in many areas of my life then that is ego and it's a really hard one because defensiveness is righteousness self-righteousness and there are probably times when it's necessary to be righteous a self-righteous there are probably times when it's necessary to be true you know defensive uh, life-saving defensiveness for example of course but um, most of the time when when the hair on the back of our head stands up or somebody says something that's triggering uh, then it's ego and uh, you know I need to apologize to to all of you uh, for any any lifetime that I have um, miscommunicated uh, or, or responded incorrectly so one of the ways that we can discern the hidden nature of ego is through our defensive responses <clears throat> it's pretty obvious actually when you're in it uh, not so easy to stop it but if you find yourself being defensive this the root of this of course is it's a protectionistic mechanism it's something that has been put in place to hold down to push down um, something that you don't want to deal with and that could be I don't want to deal with sadness it could be I don't want to deal with irritation it could be I don't want to deal with money uh, it could be I don't want to deal with uh, that because at a subconscious level that you can't see on the surface it reminds you of the stepbrother and the stepfather who are abusive in other words sometimes our defensive and our protecting this mechanisms they have roots that we haven't even begun to uncover because we just defend we just respond we don't um, we don't uh, address it with consciousness and with love and forgiveness now uh, one of master Shah's top teachers master Francisco he gave me a soul reading recently uh, heavens reading and they told me that I needed to follow Master Shah's uh, words and guidance more that um, that it's important to stay close to Master Shah's words and guidance and it's true like the topic of this today the hidden nature of ego Master Shah doesn't have any information on this other than humility and so I always try to steer the information back to love and forgiveness and the ten da the ten da being the ten qualities um, when I heard that from Master Francisco, you know, I, I could have responded negatively. I could have responded defensively. So, well, you know, two years I've been serving and many, many people on Facebook are so grateful. And, you know, I could have had that kind of defensive response. But fortunately, it did not come up. Fortunately, I agreed. Yeah, he said, yes, that's true. Why would heaven tell me anything that's not true, right? And so there are always forms of hidden ego. That could be, for example, when I offer live streams that have names like this, uh, maybe it's a lesson so that um, I focus on the wisdoms of love and forgiveness. In ego, which is protectionism aspects, who do we need to forgive? We need to forgive ourselves. That's the most important. So I tell you this, and then I'm going to do self-forgiveness, and you can do self-forgiveness. Why are we protectionistic? why are we defensive because we don't like feeling hurt we don't like it even a little bit we certainly don't like our buttons pushed if someone says something to us that is hurtful um, and we have a, a lashing out reaction it very often it's 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 not only is it true it's our stuff that's the kicker we want to blame them we want to yell at them we want to curse at them but when we are triggered 99.9% .9 of the time it's our stuff and that means we have to look at it we have to look at it from an ego free perspective and that's not always so easy we have to actually ask the hard question what is it about what this person said to me that caused such a violent reaction that caused me to lash out and defend what is it about that and you really have to dig in <clears throat> it's not so easy you know a lot of people will only go to the surface well it made me angry because they just shouldn't have said it well that's obviously not very deep why did it make you angry that you have to ask that question
And when you get the answer, why did that happen? And when you get that answer, why did that happen? This is called drilling down. You have to ask yourself, why, 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 until you get to the root. <clears throat> when are you at the root? Probably when you're like, oh my God. Probably when you're when you when you can no longer say anything when you're in a place of disbelief <clears throat> because when you hit that root it will be a shattering it will break the ego it will break the pattern of why you respond in that way and why you defend in that way you know some people they stay in that place of grief uh, over a lost loved one and no matter what anybody says to them they stay there okay that's could be an aspect of ego why um, I don't know, but you have to ask yourself why. And as you go down, 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 it could be that the passing of a loved one when you were four years old was never dealt with. And because it was never dealt with, because it was too painful, you don't want to deal with the current one. So you don't know until you go, why, 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 why? You have to drill down inside your own mind. Our personality, our ego, is formed from early childhood. Our parents help us form it. Our brothers and sisters, our church, our belief systems help us form it. <clears throat> the bullies at school, the best friends at school, they help us form our personality. They help us uh, uh, form our defensive mechanisms. If we are to return to our source creator, if we are to become humble, humility-filled beings, then we must make space for it. We cannot make space if we're in if we're stuck in defensiveness and protectionisms. We have to uproot the defensiveness. We have to uproot the um, the uh, knee jerk reactions, and it does require love and forgiveness to self especially. So when you drill down on it, and you get to that root, trust me, if you're not going three or four layers of why 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 more if you can if you're not doing three or four layers deep you didn't drill down it was just topical you didn't get any growth okay <clears throat> you'll know when you're at that place because you might have a nice cry you might have an, uh, a beating yourself up session okay which obviously is not where you want to go but if you find yourself there that means you've gotten to some some roots can you go deeper than that what is the beating yourself up about? <clears throat> Why are you doing that? There's probably a reason for that. You can probably go deeper. Maybe um, you witnessed mom doing that when dad left. And so all she did was say, oh, I'm such a bad mom. I can't believe, you know, da, 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 da. You don't know. You have to look at what are the root causes of these things. Drill down, drill down, drill down. <clears throat> when you get to those root cause, apply love and forgiveness to yourself what brought about those conditions your parents your peers your brothers your sisters the church the religions your karma your karma brought to you the parents the peers the church the religions the blah 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 so why in the world wouldn't you offer love and forgiveness to yourself you are just basically a person in a play forming your personality so that you could clear your karma so that you can create love and peace and harmony in your life <clears throat> that's what all of us are doing we have we have brothers and sisters we have husbands we have wives we have kids you find 30 minutes to a half hour to one hour and, and you know one or two days a week to come be with me because some snippets of wisdom help you along in life but when you hang up today <clears throat> and you turn off Facebook and you go back to life what are you doing to remove aspects of these personality um, protection mechanisms what are you doing on a conscious level to let go of these things that are inhibiting you from realigning to your source to your heart to your oneness very important that you have conscientious action agreement to self to no longer allow yourself to beat yourself up <clears throat> when you catch yourself in a defensive response with somebody else you know don't allow yourself to get away with that don't do it force yourself to take responsibility one of the hardest things to do in this life is to take responsibility 
for everything that's happened in her life, everything. You're in pain, take responsibility. You have sucky relationship, take responsibility. You're a millionaire and you're a happy person, take responsibility. <clears throat> Wherever we're at, the moment you move into taking responsibility, you are defensive, take responsibility. You're sad, crying, can't get out of it, take responsibility. The moment you take responsibility is the moment you acknowledge karma. The moment you take responsibility is the moment you acknowledge there is a solution. Trust me, there is a solution. Following Master Shah's wisdom, love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Surround yourself with love. Offer and ask yourself forgiveness. Surround yourself with those that are compassionate and light-filled. Bring love, peace, and harmony music. Trace calligraphies. Do whatever it takes to lift yourself out. But it starts with responsibility. You keep coming to watch people like me. <clears throat> go see psychics. Go see card readers. Go see people that wave jewelry over you. That's not going to solve your problems, folks. Not going to do it. Ego, our personality, is a culmination of all of our life experiences brought into this moment. How do we unwind it? Awareness. Taking responsibility. So no one ever said it was easy, but that is the truth. <clears throat> now, if you need to have uh, assistance from a psychologist or a specialist, by all means, go get it. Most of us have insurance. Why not? And don't be afraid to go to more than one. If, if, if a person is just uh, not serving you, not helping you to drill down, then don't go there. Uh, if that person helps you to drill down and brings you into love and forgiveness, keep them. They're a good soul. They're there to assist you on this path. So let's do this. Let's do a practice. <clears throat> We're going to ask the soul of um, the greatest humility to come join us so sit up straight back away from the back of the chair place your hands in soul light soul service hand position close your eyes and let us receive some blessings to clear some of these blockages and repeat after me if comfortable dear my beloved soul dear my beloved creator dear my heavens teams could you please assist me at this time to self-clear my blockages that inhibit me from being more humble, more pure, and more aligned to you. Thank you. <clears throat> Dear all souls of humanity, I ask forgiveness for this lifetime, for any lifetime, that I have been filled with ego, communicated with you inappropriately, derogatorily if I have ever spoken down to you puffed myself up made myself stronger better higher if I have ever expressed myself in such a way where I placed myself above you because I had inferiority issues lack of love issues if I have ever harmed you from my lack of humility I sincerely 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 apologize <clears throat> if I have been defensive try to prove myself at your expense if I have been anything other than fair and equal in my communication again I sincerely apologize <clears throat> dear my own soul please forgive me for this and all lifetimes of defensive and protectionistic responses please forgive me for this and all lifetimes of not opening and releasing these hidden forms of karma blockages that have disallowed me from opening my heart more. I am so grateful to you, my beloved soul. Please bless me in this practice. 
Dear the soul of divine love and divine forgiveness, mantras, I love you. Could you please bless me as I chant your mantras? Clear blockages of defensiveness, self-righteousness. Open my heart more. Bless me to love and forgive myself and move away from defensiveness. And self-righteousness I am very grateful thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> so you will visualize your soul glowing around your whole body receiving heaven's love and heaven's light receiving your soul's forgiveness visualize layers peeling off you like old dead skin layers of defensiveness layers of self-righteousness peeling away and being burnt off by the light and the love of your soul and your creator <clears throat> as we chant divine love and then we will chant divine forgiveness we ask all the beings of light who have come today to shine their light upon us as we do this practice. So let us do this together. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine. Divine love. See the light dispersing negative mindsets, negative attitudes and beliefs, releasing from your mind and your heart. <clears throat> Divine love. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love, divine love, send love to yourself, divine love, receive love from your soul, divine love, divine Open your heart. See your heart growing. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love. Divine love. Forgive yourself for developing such huge ego and self-righteousness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness <clears throat> divine forgiveness divine forgiveness Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Divine forgiveness. 
divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Feel forgiveness towards self. Receive the love and forgiveness. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. <clears throat> divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. And as you return, make an agreement with yourself that the next time <clears throat> you respond defensively, that you stop. That you agree to disagree agreeably. That you afterwards look closely. Why am I so defensive? Make an agreement with yourself to agree to disagree with the other person agreeably <clears throat> and then look inside and go deeper ask why am i defending three times deep and you will discover the root cause of the response that developed your personality the ego and then offer yourself love and forgiveness for developing that defensive response and choose to not allow it to inhibit you from realigning your heart and soul to the source creator anymore how 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 thank you thank you thank you how? <clears throat> okay, so we have a few minutes for sharing if anybody wishes to share. You can read your responses. I wish to take a moment to thank Divine Tao and Source and Beloved Jesus <clears throat> for offering this wisdom through me today. I hope that it served you. It felt reasonable valuable and accurate welcome joey welcome maria welcome b welcome anthony cohen welcome amy hubrick <clears throat> if you all came in a little late i do recommend you watch uh, from the beginning there is some good information and um, a flow that i received from our beloved uh, spiritual father jesus and i believe there was some wisdom in there <clears throat> So I will uh, be available on Tuesday next week. For those that are new or interested, there is still time to join the Open Spiritual Channels course. There's a few more days that it is open to further awaken and develop your spiritual channels, receive self-healing. It is a 50% off discount. You can learn more by looking at the posts that Kristen has placed on her timeline um, and access there. The discount is listed there as well, I believe. And also, there is an ongoing 52-week self-healing course, uh, which is webinar-based, so it's question and answer based, uh, direct practices directly from Master Shah's books, and it happens twice a week. So that's a very good class you can join as well. So I see Lisa said, thank you, very much resonated with her. Jane says, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, sore to hear, lots, sorry, hard to hear. 
lots of work three layers yep we all have layers thank you Suzanne you're welcome thank you Christine for posting that information uh, Roshan she found two blocks of hers and healed them now with with uh, the wisdom that has been shared thank you I'm so happy to hear that Roshan so <clears throat> uh, I will sign off now thank you for any further postings thank you for sharing letting other people know about today's wisdom love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you gong song gong song gong song I will see you Thursday three hours earlier than this time 9 a.m. Hawaii time we'll see you then bye bye everybody